Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is bluffing, saying the conflict in eastern Ukraine can be over in just two weeks, since he cannot control the military. Denis Pushilin, a deputy speaker of the People's Council of the Donetsk People's Republic and the Republic's official representative at the contact group talks, said on Monday, it's pure bluff on his part. He controls nothing in Donbas. Ukraine does not fulfill the Minsk agreements, and this is a fact. What we are talking about, we see that they are shelling our settlements. Commanders of Ukrainian battalions openly say they are not obeying power Poroshenko's orders. How can he fulfill the Minsk agreements then? How can he be so definite about these two weeks? Pushilin told. The National Council of Ukraine on television and radio gave the order to disable the broadcasting of the Ukrainian version of Euronews. The directive would prescribe that Ukrainian national television companies serve the license agreement with Euronews, on which the channel's Ukrainian language version is based. The company would also have to stop producing Ukrainian language content and sell almost 3,000 registered shares it holds in Euronews. First deputy head of the National Council, Olga Gerasimuk, called channel instrument of Russian imposing due to the fact that it worked with a correspondent from Russia. Let's just say the Euronews shows not enough victories and successes of Ukraine. Dear Ukrainian journalists, we remind you to show more victories and successes or your media will be closed. The Russian-Chinese trade turnover grew 6.8% to $95.28 billion in 2014, the Chinese Custom Department reported on Tuesday. As compared to the previous year, imports of Russian goods to China increased 4.9% to $41.6 billion, and Chinese export to Russia grew 8.2% to $53.68 billion. Despite the weakening rubble, the positive trend of Russian-Chinese trade development continued last year. Zong Liang, deputy director of of the Financial Studies Institute of Bank of China has said, rubble stabilization will contribute to strengthening cooperation between Russia and the other of countries of BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, he added. The Twitter and YouTube accounts for the US military command that oversees operation in the Middle East were hacked on Monday by people claiming to be sympathetic toward the Islamic State militia group being targeted in American bombing raids. American soldiers, we are coming, watch your back, ISIS, the hackers posted on the US Central Command Twitter feed, using an acronym for the hardline Islamist group, which has taken control of parts of Syria and Iraq. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, the cyber caliphate continues its cyber Jihad, the Central Common Twitter feed said after being hacked. Also, the Twitter account published a list of generals and addresses associated with them, titled Army General Officer Public Poster by rank 2nd January 2014. US officials acknowledged that the incident in which the accounts were compromised for about 30 minutes was embarrassing but played down the impact. The FBI said it was investigating. So, by their words, the investigation it posts about cyber jihad in official social media accounts. Do they think people are Idiots. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.